a lot of people are together. I know you see them in Target, you see them in Walmart, you see them in the mall. Dang, he got that bad, look at that girl. Whoa, if I had that girl right there, if I had that girl right there, you would have to pay. In most cases, you would have to pay indirectly. You would have to be a yes man. You have to tolerate male friends. You have to tolerate stubbornness, passive aggressiveness. Her past. Nitpicking. Acting like she giving you a favor. In most cases, not all. But it's not all what you see. A lot of guys are tolerating. They swallowing wrenches. They swallowing monkey, monkey wrenches to have these girls. They biting their whole tongue off. They, they got a monkey wrench on their tongue. They are. They took their manhood and, and just threw it like this. Just because she looked good, they took their manhood and was like, whoop, back was shot. These guys, a lot of guys, blue pill, beta male simps, they don't got no man of God in them. You know what I'm saying? I know we seized Adam. Adam fell short of the girl with the body. Eve fell short of the slithering Satan's tongue, of the forbidden tongue, the forbidden knowledge, the forbidden. That's why, the, you know, the women are addicted to, that's why they're addicted to the forbidden, dating their best friend, boyfriend, dating their they bu they boyfriend, best friend, dating their boyfriend, brother, dating their boyfriend, father. That's why they're addicted to the forbidden. If you're married, they want you. If you got a girlfriend, they want you. They want everything they can't have. They want every man they can't have. How many of you guys be like, I'm single and everything, and you try to come real at that girl, like, boom, cold approach. I'm, I'm all right. They single and lonely. That married guy over there, they know they can't have him. He don't even look better than you. He's not in shape with you. You might be better in the bedroom, better person. You got God in you. You pray, you eat right, your, your genetics good. But, but, she chose him because he's taken. They like what they can't have. They like to feel like, they like slippery situations. These are the seeds of Eve. So they like the forbidden. Anything that they can't grab, that they don't supposed to have. So anything that's slipping through their hands, they, I, but if you right there in their hand, they don't, I can have you. I don't want you because I can have you. That's the mentality they have. Not all, but most. So they play victim in the end when the guy don't leave his wife, don't leave his, his girlfriend, knowing that he had. Sometimes sometime they very comfortable with the, very comfortable being the side chick. Very comfortable being the side chick. So I'm here to let you know right now that a lot of people look happy, but they got problems. They're not together for the right reasons. They're together for money, status, looks. They're together because of they don't want them, but they don't want nobody else to have them. And it's temporarily. And a lot of times people, they want the person because they trying to convince them to like them. Why can't I have you? All the other guys want me. Why can't I have you? I don't even really like you, but I just want to know why I can't have you. You'd be surprised how many women had this mentality. You know, I don't really, really, really like you, but I'm curious why can't I have you? Why don't you don't want me? You mean to tell me I can't have you if I want to? I know you got a girlfriend, but you mean to tell me I can't have you if I want to? Huh? That's the mentality. It's your chamomile tea, folks. Make you relax. Sleep really good. Anyway, they ain't giving me no money. Sponsor them. But uh, everybody, just because they with a nice looking, people smiling don't mean they happy. It's a lot of fronts out here. And, and if they are smiling, in most cases, somebody is manipulating the other. So ignorance is bliss. A lot of my guys who not that red pill and 
They're not in the know. They're still in the matrix. They're very happy with women. They stay in relationships. They stay in relationships because they don't make the woman feel uncomfortable. They can't see what she's doing. But a red pill dude be like, now that don't make sense. Why you act like that? They seeing everything. They see all the subliminal messages. They see they read the body language. These some of these red pill guys are on it. So you stay single a lot. The smarter you are, you stay single a lot in a lot of cases because you gotta play dumb to even get some wooga wooga. Because the truth chase people away and make them feel uncomfortable when they know they can when you can when they know you can see the real them, they get uncomfortable, they get self-conscious and they can't control you how you can control somebody that can see every move you make you know what i'm saying they can't you can't how can you control how can you control somebody that can see through you you can't so that's what we're dealing with <clears throat> we're dealing with that type of we're dealing with that type of energy you know that's what we're dealing with. So you got to understand that in this world, in this world, shh, it's a lot of smoke screens out here. If you find a woman that look average, man, these this day and age, get somebody you love, Joe, because get somebody you love. Um, cause all that going after the glamour and glitz, you only live once. You want to be, you want to spend your life with somebody you really can talk to. Y'all really got a lot in common. You, you got a spiritual bond. You know, you got a, uh, you know, you, you got more in common than just looks and sex. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot more in common. Got to get all the herb out the tea bag, y'all. But, um. You know, it's not all what it seemed to be. A lot of y'all brothers, you know, your purple pill, you really want to get in a relationship. You know, you want to have kids. You want, you're tired of running around with all these girls and diseases. A lot of these girls, they real big. They real big down there. They've been through, they in the streets. A lot of them educated. They in the streets. A lot of them got money and they got good jobs. They in the streets. They still in the streets. They still going to them happy hours, flirting with the bartender, flirting with the, the club owner, the, the bar owner. They still dealing with the owners. They groupies. They get with. Anybody that look like they got some money or anybody that like they getting some attention, they want to be a part of that. They want to feed off that. You know? So, we got to come together, fellas, and, and um, save the, the next generation. So, you know, we can wipe this out. We can help the women and the young guys. We all gotta come together, confederate. We gotta confederate this, this red pill, billionaire, alpha male, man of God. We gotta, we gotta confederate this. We gotta come together. We gotta sonic boom this jump, because the devil ain't gonna win. This is all the devil's work, bro. This is all the devil's work. Got an uppercut. Hit him with the uppercut. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? Gotta hit him with the uppercut. But we got to come together. This right here, they can break that. But we like this. That fist is powerful. The finger weak. I'm telling you. But you help the family structure, everything else fall in place. The devil hates families. The devil hates family structure. He hates love. He hates family structure. So he had to break up the man and woman early. Adam and Eve early. He had to break it up early. He had to put a damper in that because the power is in the family. And that's why the devil had to do what he had to do. You know, if we get those families that are working together, when a man and woman work together, everything springs from that. You know, people can feel that, that God, that energy. They can feel the power. And it heals people that's, that can see it. And people know that it's all about love, man. Lack of love causes a lot of violence. And if you're faking, you're in a fake relationship where you can't speak your mind, you can't be yourself, psh, get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? If both people want the best for each other, you should be able to communicate openly without judgmental and stuff like that. If 
If you can deal with the person's flaws, you stick in there. If you can't deal with the person's flaws, you know, if you can't deal with the person's flaws, y'all not meant to be together. Anyway, I'm Alan Williams, the Realionaire. Um, check out everything. Subscribe to the pages, all my pages. You know, hit the link, hit the um, bell. Check out the next video. Um, feel free to support if you want. Um, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, inbox me, message me. We can work something out. You know, my email is therealionaire at yahoo.com. So, T-H-E, T-H-E, therealionaire at yahoo. No spaces. I'll holler at y'all later.